to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the trendy stack leggings. I also have another video showing you guys how I do them for a toddler or, you know, if you have a younger kid and you want to be twins. So I'll link that video down below and also in the cards above. So yeah, um, I freaking think this trend is so cute. At first, I was kind of iffy about it, but now that I try them on, I'm like, this is so cute. And then when you have your kids to match you, it's even cuter. So, without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So, first things first, we're going to start out with supplies. We're going to need two leggings. They have to be exactly the same or very close to it. And I just got these two cheap pair of black leggings from Walmart. Then you're going to need scissors and um, thread and needle. I just use this thread and needle that I use to sew weave onto a wig or like a sew-in. But whatever thread and needle you have, go ahead and get it. And the thread should be close to the same color as the leggings you have. You want to cut off the bottom elastic of both pair of your leggings. This is to ensure a smooth transition once you sew the two pieces of cloth together. You want to take one of the pair of pants and fold the legs over top of each other. This is to ensure that when we cut off the fabric, they're the exact same length. Then you want to take your scissors and start to cut over the top of the thigh area of the leggings. If you want them more stacked, cut as high as you can up until kind of where that crotch seam is. And then once you cut off the top part, you kind of have some shorts you can wear as well. Now you want to take the legs you just cut off and fold them inside out so that way the seam is showing. Then you want to take the other pair of leggings you have and lay them out. These should be right side out, meaning that the seam shouldn't be showing on them. But the pants leg that you cut off, make sure that the seam that is showing is matching the side of the seam that is on the leggings that are not cut. Then you want to slide the leggings that you did cut onto the other leggings and make sure that the fat part of the pants is going upward and the skinny part is where you're actually going to sew around the perimeter of the legging. Now you want to take your thread and needle and start to sew the two leggings together, making sure that the hole is open because we still want our legs to come through. You don't want to sew them together making a closure. You want to sew them together still having that hole open. And I suggest making a knot the first time you put the needle and thread through because this is going to secure everything and make sure that it doesn't come unraveled. Then just continue to sew tightly and securely to make sure that it doesn't come unraveled all the way around the perimeter of that hole. Once you get to the end, make sure that you sew a knot like I'm doing here to make sure that it's secure and closed off. Now I'm just pulling the pants leg down just to show you how it looks with the two pieces of fabric sewn together. You can kind of see, you know, where I sewed it on, but I'm telling you, once you start to stack your leggings, it's not going to be able to be visible at all. Now I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the opposite leg, just 
pulling on that fat part first and then the skinny part should meet at the bottom where we're going to sew it together and I'm actually just going to sew this off camera because you guys know how to sew and you don't want to see that boring process again all right now that i'm done sewing this pant leg i'm just going to pull it down so you guys can see the transition from one leg to the next it's the same as the other one but i just wanted to show you up close um just in case you wanted to see it again all right now that you have your leggings on how you stack them is you kind of just pull them up like you see me doing here and it just gives the stacked effect like you want and these turned out super cute and you cannot see the transition from one leg to the next all right you guys here's just another close-up look on how they turned out i really like these and i hope you like them too Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification button so that way you'll be notified every time that I post a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.